some of you will start to notice that when you're using detailed targeting for Facebook ads, you're going to see this error message come up at the top. And thank you, Eric, for showing this to us. It says, the error message says, we're discontinuing certain detailed targeting options. These options have been highlighted for you to review. We can see down there, Samadhi. The word Samadhi has an exclamation mark to the left of it. That's, that's the one that's being reviewed. It says, you'll find alternatives when you hover over them. Replace or remove these options and publish changes by March 17, 2022. Um, and uh, I've heard uh, people say, there are certain organizations they were trying. There, there are certain organizations whose fans they were targeting, and that might be that might start to be re removed as well, starting in March or or April or whatever. And they say that they give you suggestions when you move over, hover over the ones that are being discontinued. If you move your, it says suggestions. We can't find any alternative. You can see on the right hand side, it says we can't find any alternatives for this. I've been seeing this too. Like most of the ones I hover over that are being discontinued, discontinued, they can't find alternatives. So it's kind of a discouraging error message. And so the question is, well, what do we do after March 17th or whenever it says it's being discontinued? This is, this really is, it's, it's a problem. I, I agree with you because, and the reason why they're removing it is partly because of, um, uh, it's, it's largely actually from what I've understood, it's largely because of privacy. They're trying to keep up with the privacy advocates who say you can't advertise to certain political or uh, religious or um, any kind of like identity, identity, like things that might discriminate. And so it's kind of, to us, it might seem like, well, why is Samadhi discriminating? But they're somehow connecting that to some identity that's being discriminated against. Um, and so that's why they're removing them. So like a lot of the political stuff that I used to exclude, I don't want people who are uh, so politically driven on this side or that side. I used to exclude, exclude them. Those are all gone. Those are all going away. You can't you know? exclude either. You can't, you can't exclude. You can't. You basically cannot include or exclude certain yeah. options uh, after uh, you know after the date that they 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 listed here. Yeah. So what can we do? Well, what can we can do is while we have them now, you can click on suggestions. Okay. So under Samadhi, click on suggestions. Yes, and. Um, for whatever reason, these are showing up. Uh, does Samadhi, I, I know some of these are not true. Okay, I'm sorry, scroll, scroll, scroll down for me here. Some of these are showing up higher. Um, some of these are showing up that are not related to Samadhi are because you have used something similar to that in the past. Like parents with preschoolers, that's not related to Samadhi, but you may have used that uh, at some point or it's been related in some way, but you should look for ones that are related to Samadhi, maybe emotional intelligence, maybe yoga probably. Um, and these are the ones that are probably not gonna go away. And Tara Brock, I'm surprised, is here. And hopefully that one doesn't go away because mm -hmm. um, that's quite a targeted and, and good audience for, for, for you, Eric. Yeah. So, so that's all we can do. We can just basically click on suggestions okay. and, and we can also just start to type in uh, other interests that are related. So Eric, if you were to off the top of your head, what's another common interest related to samadhi meditation. put you on the spot meditation yeah. okay type type in the word meditation where it says add demographics type in the word meditation and when you do this by the way okay okay it yours came up pretty quickly sometimes it says no results found for like half a minute or a minute and so we just have to be patient for it to come up anyway yours has come up um it's interesting the word just meditation alone you cannot even target. Can you try typing it more slowly? Take away the word N or the letter N. I just want to, yeah, keep going. I want to see if it has meditate even. Keep One more. Going. Okay. No. Okay. This so this is a weird. I did this word and I was, this is what I was surprised. This is what I got this weird meditation or whatever. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah. Meditation and meditations. As we can see here, the, the, the meditation's interest has, has a very targeted worldwide audience. It's only 20, 20 30,000 people worldwide. So it makes me wonder what the heck meditations mean. I mean, it could be a book, a yeah, popular maybe, book maybe called maybe Meditation. Maybe one or two. I don't know. You know so I, and it could be a misspell. And so if you, if, you, if you click on it, click on meditations, it's such a tiny audience. Oops. Just go ahead and click on it. Yeah. Click on it by. Yeah, just click, click on, click on. Yeah, there we go. And then when you click on suggestions now, if you X out Samadhi, okay, if, if we wanna, if we wanna, okay, X out Samadhi, 
and then click on suggestions under meditation. Uh, oh, great. okay. So it is, it is supposedly correct. Um, but uh, you could see these other interests that are being suggested are not going to go away, likely personal development, self-awareness, et cetera. So this is how we're going to be able to find future interests based on what's still available. And, and, and basically going forward, uh, we're going to have to get more savvy about layering interests. Like you're going to have to start testing combinations of interests. So you might test, for example, let's, while we're here on the list, you might test something like, okay, people who are interested in self-awareness and narrowed by people who are interested in, um, you know, yoga or whatever, you know what I mean? So, 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 or, or you're interested in Buddhism. I don't even know if Buddhism you could target because that might be considered religious discrimination. Right. So, so in the, so going forward, you use the suggestions panel after you pull up some idea and then start practicing combination narrowing like okay let me do one test where it's um you know like i said self-awareness plus yoga let me that's one test another test let's try you know emotional intelligence narrowed by uh chanting yeah you know what i mean like like you you'll start do instead of like we, we used to just test one thing at a time Mm -hmm. because it was narrow enough oh i'm targeting the or the fans of this celebrity or the fans of this this thought leader mm -hmm. if we can't do that anymore we have to do combinations of larger audiences yeah okay so That's hope true. this helps thank you thank yeah you. thank you the other thing that we we will need to get more savvy about is using look-alike audiences based on our engagers and i have other videos about that but basically, um, Facebook is increasingly like, well, it's always been in terms of ads. It's always been it's always been catered towards larger advertisers who already have they're already coming to Facebook with an audience, with an email list or with lots of website visitors all the time or whatever. And so once they come to Facebook, they could just create lookalike audiences based on their existing engagers. And Facebook says, don't worry, we'll use our algorithm, our secret algorithm to just get you the right people. But those of us who don't already come with, you know, a um, thousand person email list or um, a thousand people uh, a month or a week, ideally, coming to our website, you know, it's like, well, how do we create lookalike audience that's high quality? Well, this is where this is where we're going to have to start promoting our Facebook business page posts elsewhere so that so that the right people can land on our Facebook business page thereby tagging them as part of a warm audience, thereby allowing us to create a higher quality lookalike audience going forward. So hope that helps.